to listen to the those who do not observe these pillars are judged as holy, reckless, foolish, worthless. A DPS who plays a tank is not a DPS. Those who join the academy are strongly urged to know these pillars by heart and soul. Failure to do so will lead to your demise and ridicule as a poor player, if not worse. So their famous quote involves infidelity? Let's be clear. Our intention is not to block content. Our intention is to educate you on the hazards of what savage content is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so this is Tales from Duty Finder. This is uh, if you guys don't know about the Dreadworm Academy. So this happened a while ago, okay? Yeah, so this is some rough stuff, man. Earlier, I woke up to a post on Shitpost 14 about an Adamantois FC, the Dreadworm Academy. Just last night, I heard and read a bunch of stuff about them, and to my surprise, the thread here on Reddit didn't include anything but their website. Of course, I couldn't leave any of you without these gems, and I am here today to bless you all with the forum posts of Dreadworm Academy. These these posts were made after they had a fight or something with a member, I think, who wanted to do Savage. I'll add more details in the comments below when I have a bit more time. Okay, so this is an FC. Now, I don't know if the Dreadworm Academy still exists today. I'm not sure. Anyway, first up, Savage content. Rest easy. This is not a rant on Savage players. This is more of a rant or more formally a warning. We have a growing number of members who are fully intended on going to Savage content. These members are to be warned clearly and carefully in this regard. One. Unless you have been cleared by ARC, you are not ready nor permitted in terms of being sanctioned or permitted. In other words, if you join a static and it conflicts with just one event, you're in violation, period. Two, 95% of the members I'm aware who are going to do this are not ready. You're skipping straight to Savage content. As such, you will likely quit the game inside three months. You will not be showed mercy in this regard. Three, the majority of Savage content runners are parsing cheating, modding, toxic. You are intentionally exposing yourself to your own form of hell. You think it's bad now? You haven't seen anything yet. But Neff, who are you to tell me what I can and can't do? You are right, but I do have the right to boot you out as a result. Bam! The policies say you can join statics and such, but the problem here is a member you are divesting your time away from our FC. We need you here, garnishing and encouraging growth here. If you're not interested in, help, in helping us out, wait, why is there a question mark? This is the second time that it's been a question that hasn't been a question. Okay, you know it's bad when I'm critiquing someone's grammar. I can't even fucking read. If you're not interested in helping us out, you are better off leaving before I come after you. Holy shit. Now that said, if you are genuinely willing to talk this out, then go meet with Ark or myself and we'll discuss at length. Savage content is not a priority for us, but it can be given enough time and effort. Be warned, you will have an uphill battle to prove your point and you won't get very far if I just want to is your reason. We have many things that need doing, plenty of content that needs to be run with our membership. So yes, go sign up for your static, but don't plan on surviving in terms of membership or yourself in sanity terms if you do not pay attention to our warnings. We've been playing this game longer than you have. You are better served in sitting down and having a conversation with Ark or myself. If Ark gives you his blessing, then you're safe. But if you dodge us, don't expect me to be understanding. Dude, holy shit, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Our house our rules, policy change. Prior to this announcement, we put in place a gate in terms of Savage content. For the new player, Savage is the in-game arena. Very high difficulty and very tempting in terms of the rewards. Up to this point, we warned very thoroughly that those who approach this content with intent to run it must see our vice president to get checked out. It seems this isn't working as intended. This has resulted in people refusing to heed our advice and blindly wander off with without checking with our staff and usually resulting in catastrophe regardless of what they 
claim. Let's be clear. Our intention is not to block content. Our intention is to educate you on the hazards of what savage content is. Dude, holy shit. Savage content requires an extra level of attention and concentration. On top of that, you're dealing with a crowd of players while claim to do this for progress are likely underqualified and doing things that are counterintuitive in what we teach. There's also the obvious fact that this FC does not prioritize savage content at all. We prioritize the needs of the membership overall, never the one. Yes, we do one-offs, but these are for MSQ clearing, low-level content, and anything else to enable our members to reach their goals. Savage content does not count in that regard. Dude, I have never experienced someone so against Savage, holy shit. That said, we've decided to change things. As I said, you wear all, wait, what? You wear all, <laughs> you wear all expected to get cleared first since this is no longer viable and being ignored. We'll do this instead. From here on out, anyone who pursues savage content without seeking assistance or aid from the staff will not be supported or given aid from this FC. In short, you can do it if you want, but you will not receive our blessing. What is this blessing you speak of, you ask? The kind that makes you immune to being dismissed from the FC for avoiding FC needs. <laughs> Okay. Policy is clear in this regard. Anyone who is level 70 and has been seen Stormblood... Okay, so this was... Yeah, this happened a while ago. Okay, okay. This happened a while ago. And has seen Stormblood credits roll are required to significantly provide help this FC in all areas. If you join a static that conflicts with any events, you will be regarded at fault for this. Now, before you sweat, let us be clear. We do not expect you to do all the events and do all the things for FC 24-7. We do expect, however, is that when we need your help, you will show up if you're online and in game, regardless of why or what or how. Doesn't that strictly contradict this statement right here? Right now we are doing things that require people to be on deck to, and to help out. People who do savage or anything else to avoid events and refuse to help their own FC members out, regardless of scheduling of your so-called static, will no longer be spared. Dude, the way that they're wording this man, spared, blessing. Dude, this is, this is, is this a meme? No, this actually happened. Bottom line, the moment you prioritize your own interests ahead of the greater FC's needs is the moment we will consider you to be on the list for dismissal. An FC must function with all members helping one another out. We understand that we do not pay your subscription, but you must understand that we are here for the benefit of teaching, learning, helping others out. When you are no longer interested in being taught or learning what we have to share is when you should pack your bags and leave. In truth, nothing has changed. The policy in itself is more than effective and covers all areas. Simplicity is best here. Now, if you're not sure in conflict or not, you check in with myself or ARC. All right, the main point here is this. If you're in end game, you should prioritize the FC's needs enough that you are contributing to help out. And then knowing what that is, safely able to chase down your savage content as you see fit. Also consider this. We want to do savage too, but only as an FC and only for fun, period. A former member who left us recently was quoted in saying, <laughs> What a legend. What a legend. Find him, mod him, VIP him, gift him a sub. You guys go at a piss poor pace. Holy shit. Sheesh. This member was banned for life as a result of that and other attitude problems. We go at the pace of our newbies and like it or not, we need to teach and make sure all things are learned. We do not prioritize in-game content, period. I challenge all of you to talk to our faculty staff and ask them why. You will find each and every one of them will give you a very frank, very brutally honest, very negative response on what they think of savage content. It is not our intention to put a dark cloud over your experience, but like it or not, savage content is very toxic right now. Yo, you know what? That might be true. I heard in Discord uh, that they're already kicking players and stuff, man. Because the raid tier is farmable, they're already kicking people. Three wipes, you're done, get the fuck out. Maybe this guy's right. Very toxic. Horrible experience. If you're that hard pressed to do it, then do us a favor and work with us to do it, not against us. You may find us receptive to forming our own static, but as with all things, it takes time. Again, I'm sorry if you feel this is harsh and may 
makes me a Nazi, as our former member indicated. But it's been made clear to said member. Our house, our rules. Don't like it? There's the door. It's a matter of when. When we get to forming our own savage teams. But that win is predicted at a very clear point. You. You are required to be there to help out. And we will never become a raiding FC. We will teach. We will learn. We will explore. And only for fun. Savage can be done as such. But no one in my staff will touch it with a 10 foot pole. Nay, thousand foot pole without these conditions being met and followed to the letter. Two years ago, this guy got down. I'm just going to say this. Making fun of this FC because their policies and behavior. Perfectly justified. Making fun of this FC because of their parses of progress. Absolutely not justified. And it makes you look just as bad, in my opinion, as these guys. <laughs> Their FC is now called Dreadworm Oasis. I was in Dreadworm Academy for a minute. It's really sad because a lot of people in the FC are genuinely kind people, just under the leader's thumb. They want to improve, but they have no way since leadership doesn't let them learn from outside resources. And on the topic of parsers, many people in the FC, including the leader himself, have used, actively use a parser, but they still denounce it. Come on, bruh. Nobody would do that. Nobody would say that they don't use a third-party program and then that they do use a third-party program, okay? No one would do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy shit. I got kicked from the Discord for doing nothing. I came in, said hi, agreed to follow the rules, and that I was just there to look around, and she said nothing else. I wasn't engaged again. Two hours later, I was banned. Not really welcoming. The leader doesn't really seem to have an issue with his behavior. Instead, he takes this thread as great advertisement. Rolling on the floor, Lamau. So true, so true. Ha 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 ha. I needed that. A thought occurred about this cult crap. It's a great recruitment ad. Not everyone who reads that will keep the thought if they actually read the website. They just made us more visible, more than ever. Do they have a website? Oh, their website. Oh, dude. Okay, so welcome to Dreadworm Academy's main site. Forged in the fires of the calamity, we seek to teach, to help, to work together for a better future. Dreadworm Academy Creed. Welcome to the Dreadworm Academy's main website. We are a school for new adventurers, returnees, refuge for anxious or bitter players. While you may have found our website, we are currently closed to public access at this time. Feel free to make inquiries in-game at your leisure. In case you're wondering, this is not a role-playing thing. We are really a school literally and figuratively so please don't make that mistake the site kind of sucks the leader and the author of this masterpiece whoa ff logs nephthys yamada okay wait here's how it used to look oh what why does it look different now way back machine okay as you already know we are a school but you may may also be asking just what that is or how we do it you will be surprised to learn that we have no special method or secret formula <laughs> that didn't really come as a surprise but we just simply use what is already in game our teachers go over each and every action every little description every little detail our teachers take the time to walk our students through all aspects of their job and also detail any personal nuances experience insights of the job in question. Courses taught at the Dreadworm Academy. Dude, this is like real shit. All disciples of Ward Magic, disciples of the Hand and Land, PvP. Holy fuck, dude, there's an RP course. Photography, glamoring, housing, gardening, leadership, and much more. How we teach. As a school, we have a set of principles that are crucial to all aspects of any chosen job or field. We call these the three pillars. Each pillar supports the main role in 14 respectively. The tank's code, the healer's creed, the DPS rules of engagement. These pillars detail the conduct the Dreadworm Academy strongly believes is expected of each of the main roles of a given... Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Uh, with its foundation, all students of all areas of the game will not be prone to foolish habits or mistakes that plague our community to this day. You can find the detailed outline of the... Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Okay, core concepts taught. Emphasis on fun, respect for your party, respect for the story, helping others, expecting nothing in return, common sense, do the right thing, teamwork accomplishes the impossible, self-sufficient, sustained play style, playing the game, 
team as it's intended. Nobody's perfect. Real life comes first. Teamwork matters. Oh, things we do not teach or permit. Naturally, there are things we do not teach and in turn, we protect our students from the harm they cause, nor are they ever allowed to commit such acts or use such things. Anyone caught in such acts are disciplined or removed from the school with extreme prejudice. Holy shit. Shit. The following things are included in this list, but not limited to parsing, real money trading, spoilers, abuse or harassment of newbies, impatience, sabotage, sabotage, impatience, theft, harassment, cheating, disruption, market extortion, excess, level skipping, story skipping. Bro, SE is okay with this. What the fuck? This doesn't even make sense. We don't stop anyone from spending money. That is their right after all, but we don't push or force anyone to do this either. As such, this is considered inappropriate behavior. Nim Fis Yamada teaching white mage. Bahamut Hall training grounds. Nice, in the classroom. Faculty, yo, they, I mean, okay, all right, all right, all right, look, look. You can say what you want, but, but I mean, the, look, the establishment's kind of legit. It's kind of a nice house. I'm just saying, man. Kind of, I, I mean, yeah, I know it's two houses, but it, it's, it's, it's kind of nice. Bahamut Hall, the goblet, with extended campus next door. Woo! A school cannot run on philosophy and ideas alone. As such, we have facilities and resources at our disposal. Dreadworm Academy's assets and resources. A mansion as our main school hall. Extended campus next door for additional space. Ample garden space for rare crops. Jacobo stables and free feed. All levels of training dummies for job training. A fleet of airships and submarines for fetching of rare materials. Fully stocked company workshop with blueprint library. Rank 8 prestige in the Immortal Flames Grand Company. Holy shit. Rank 8 prestige. Dude, I don't even fucking know what that is and I've been playing this game for like nine years. A dedicated web server for storage of guild, of guides and long-term information storage. A Discord server for voice chat, communication, and news blasts. Staff of master omni-crafters capable of making all craftable things. Zero dependence on outside help. Ooh, ooh. I don't know about that one, dude. That one's a little, that one, that's a concern right there. Entirely isolated and independent of political social influence. Zero market dependence. Ample funding resources. Endless ambition for growth and further goodies to be had. As you can see, we are quite stocked and well-funded. However, we are nothing without our staff keeping our school running. Feel free to look at who we have working for at our prestigious school. To see who they are, click here. Oh, oh yo, we got some staff. Okay, okay. Leadership, Nephis Yamada. Oh, yo, they got, yo, each, yo, each person's got a page, dude. Hell yeah, this is nice, dude. I mean, okay, like, first off, man, I don't know about this glamour. All right, look, I'm probably the last person to be talking about glamour, but this looks like budget Yuna, you know? If this is a cosplay, this is a really bad one. I'm just saying, you know? I'm just saying, you know, I can kind of do my thing with some glamour, you know? Don't fall in love. Nickname, Dragon Mom, main job dancer, alternate main, healer, white mage, dark knight, red mage, summoner, famous quote, angry aura no noises, and she knows it's students pushing her buttons. <laughs> Dude, this is a nice website, man. It's too bad there are a bunch of fucking psychos in a cult because this is a nice RP website, dude. Maybe I should make a website. Nickname, Soft Dead. Main job, Warrior Paladin. Famous quote, protecting the cubs. Manmode.com. Little family history, role playing. Originally from, oh, dude, dude, this is, look, man, I'm gonna be real, okay? They put a lot of work into this website and I'm kind of digging the RP aspect. They got backstories, man. They got all this shit. You know, it's just too bad. They're full of a bunch of psychotic fucking motherfuckers, you know? This is Arch, Archaic Light. Ooh. Yo, look at this beard. Look at this beard, man. That's a nice beard. Yo, this is yo, this, yo, this is some good glamour, dude. Vice president. Hell yeah. Nickname. Old man yelling. Get off my fucking lawn without pants on. <laughs> so stupid, dude. <laughs> Main job. Torturing Nephi on a daily basis and keeping the students in line with his glare. Alternate main, any and all roles needed. Famous quotes, oh, you sweet summer child. All right, now get ready to stack 
Fact. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's like stack, like a mechanic. Like, get ready to stack. Fact. Okay, we're dead. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. Audible cringe. Okay, I get it now. Man, he didn't. He doesn't have his backstory. Holy shit, dude. There's so many motherfuckers on this. Bruh. Okay, faculty, Lizzie Bell. Okay. Nickname, the pink lady who pokes things. Main job, Dragoon. Famous quotes. Wait, what? Famous quote starts with another quote or from a quote from another person? Lizzie. Nephi. Suddenly an explosion of hearts and much glomping. Yeah, this person got lazy, dude. This person got lazy with their picture, dude. They just got the lodestone picture, dude. <laughs> A farewell from the Dreadworm Academy to their beloved vice president. We miss you. Hurry back, Lizzie. So Lizzie, okay, so Lizzie, she got the fuck out. <laughs> got the fuck out. Randomly. Oh, God. Randomly. Randomly. Oh, that's so stupid, dude. Oh. Title rank, master scholar teacher. Okay, I mean, he's got a nice beard too. I see this beard. Okay, I respect the beard. All right, nickname, absent-minded scholar. Famous quote, oh, I suppose I should summon my fairy. Relatable. That's relatable, I feel. Alexia. Okay, 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 a little bit of G-pose. Nickname, magical gas mask girl. What? Gas mask girl. Famous quote, it will be fine in response to someone's bridal gown glamour, then was summarily executed? Well, I'm just confused because magical gas mask girl, but she's not wearing a gas mask. Why is her nickname gas mask girl? She's not wearing a gas mask. Soli Ao. Okay, 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 okay. Nickname, quiet yet lovely. Famous quote, I'll meet you behind the market. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> What? Okay. Celestial Winter. Okay, I like the hat. It's a loud hat. Nickname, Krusty Crab. I'm gonna need some backstory on that. Famous quote, Little, 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 little Lee. Loud clang heard as Nephi hits her over the head with a frying pan. Urza Scarlet, Master Gunbreaker Teacher. Nickname, Tank Cleave Eater. Famous quote, Biako, you're mine. Urza whimpers, then runs to a corner remarkably fast. That's not a quote though. She didn't say anything. Ace Hitake. Oh, oh, it's a couple. Oh God, it's a couple. Title rank in charge of recruiting for Dreadworm Academy, Omni Crafters Gatherer, Davina, graphical artist for Dreadworm Academy, Ace, the Pink Terror, Davina, teacher of the glare, nickname, the bareback hugger in <laughs> The what? The bare-backed hugger in pink, Davina, Roland Barry Makote of Doom. Famous quotes. Oh, Urza, chasing wearing a pink thong stilettos. Davina, arms crossed, glaring at Ace. So their famous quote involves infidelity? Graduates, Rita Cornwall. Okay, 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 okay. Nice old pose. Red Mage, nickname, Pony Whisperer. Famous quote, I'm sorry and didn't do a single thing wrong. The school's most popular mount hunter and notoriously habitual cat chaser is one of the friendliest and most polite graduates in the Dreadworm Academy. Dude, they specifically said that they weren't an RP. Okay, that's bullshit. This is bullshit. They specifically said that they were not an RP guild. Oh, here we go. It's another couple. Alura Windstrider. Okay, 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 okay. The president's in her picture. Come on, bruh. Just give her a little bit of spotlight. Nickname, Lil Sis, Lil Moon. Famous quote, Oh, little son. Sapphire, her husband. Visibly seen in sheer terror. You're only here to feed my blood lily. Cute French accent. Angry aura voice. Quiet, cute, and adorable. Oh. The things I achieved to be. There are these things most say about Allura. However, to her peers, she's quite literally insane and one of the most capable white mages in the Dreadward Academy. Oh my, whoa, what's, what's, what's going on here, dude? <laughs> is this a couch in the background, dude? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Sapphire Windstride. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yo, that glam, that glam's pretty good, man. Glam's pretty good, dude. I like that hat. Yeah. Nickname, a little son. Famous quote, oh no, panicked quickly said, the fuck 
is in Asuna. Oh, like the fuck's in Asuna. Oh, 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 that's kind of a bad joke. Oh, what's going on here? Yo, that's nice, dude. That's a dude, that's a nice picture, man. Honored members and supporters. Chrono, Hayabusa, and Terran Striker. Title rank, Nephi's most beloved friends of the Dreadworm Academy. Nickname, Chrono, Master Floor Tanker. Haha, <laughs> Betty plays your goon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he does, dude. Look, 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 he does. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Nickname, Crazy Katsune. Famous quote, oh, look, it's pizza from within the carpet fiber. What? Dude, dude, dude some of these quotes, man, they got to add some context here. Because I don't know what the fuck that means. Taryn, that's what she said. <laughs> Yo, I could already see, man. Okay, my profile on here, right? Nickname, Baldo. Main job, man mode. Famous quotes, these nuts. <laughs> So, okay, so that's all the members, man. Okay, let's okay, let's go to the, the three pillars of the... Dude, how long have we been talking about this? Am I ever going to play this fucking game, dude? Tanks Code, Healers Creed, Rules of Engagement. The Foundation of Dreadworm Academy Teachings, the three pillars written by the founding president on day one. These three core document Documents? These three documents serve as the guiding hand for all teaching precepts of any job in the game, whether you are a tank or healer. We expect very specific behavior... Uh, Okay, we also expect this of, of other players in game as well, regardless of affiliation. Those who do not observe these pillars. You know what, dude? I was like looking at their pictures, right? And like, you know, their pictures seem all nice and fun and playful. And then like, you know, you st and then you start reading the bullshit that's actually written and you're like, God damn, I forgot these people were fucking psychopaths. Fuck, man, now I'm bummed. Dude, listen to this. Those who do not observe these pillars are judged as wholly reckless, foolish, worthless, misguided, only forgiven by being new or misled. We do not compromise, nor do we relent when it comes to these pillars. Those who join the academy are strongly urged to know these pillars by heart and soul. Failure to do so will lead to your demise and ridicule as a poor player, if not worse. Yo, what the fuck? As harsh as it sounds, you will find these concepts are common sense and not unreasonable in terms of being able to do these things. Bruh, holy shit, this is in a work. This is a wide worry for me, dog. The tank's code. You are a tank. Your job is to hold aggro and keep your party safe. DPSing while necessary is only there to serve as a function of aggression management. Killing things is not and will never be your priority. Aggression management or holding aggro is key to your success. What you pull, you own. Any tank who can't hold aggro from the start of pull to the very end is a total and utter failure. Sheesh! How you pull is predicted on your ability to manage your aggression and cooldowns. If you pull too much and die, it's on you. You do not blame your party for your decisions. Communication is key. Tanks are considered de facto party leader. While they may not be making callouts, they start the run and end the run. If you wait a minute, they end the run, but you can't you can't kill Killing things is not and will never be your... Pro How do you end the run if you can't kill anything? You know what? Never mind. If you fail to communicate, you only have yourself to blame. Dodge damage. Avoid unnecessary risks. As a tank, you are not just some lump of meat with a shield. Play smart. Dodge what can be dodged. Don't go in blindly without common sense. Blaming your healer for failing to keep you alive for damage you could avoid is foolish. Party-wide mechanics are not to be ignored. Tanks who intentionally avoid mechanics are not tanks but liabilities and should be removed dude holy shit this shit's ran with like an iron fist okay the healer's creed you are a he oh fucking hold dude hold on hold on man jesus christ in that first sentence i just got a flashback of like that selfie cut scene you know whatever like i don't i want to heal I don't want to do those other things. You can't make me do those other things. You are a healer, not a tank, nor a DPSer. Your job is to heal your party and keep them alive. You DPS when you are idle and obviously when necessary, okay? Your mana is your lifeblood. Do not compromise your mana pool. If you are low, slow down, stop DPSing, use your cooldowns. Healers dodge damage. 
not take it. While some things can't be dodged, a healer who takes unnecessary damage is a dead healer. There is no such thing as a main healer or an off healer. You are co- Yo, 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 hold on. Real talk, real talk. Yo, this is, yo, this right here is, is actually correct. <laughs> this right here is, holy shit. This is actually fucking correct. Of all the things, this is actually fucking spot on. You support one another, shoulder your load. This is this is actually uh, uh damn it guys, they got one right. <laughs> okay. Healers have cooldowns that help manage mana and speed. Speed? What? What does that mean? Use them wisely. Woe to the healer who has need of Oh, they're talking about swift cast. Oh, Use them wise, woe to the, dude, who writes like this? Woe to the healer who has need of swift cast but can't because they used it foolishly. Healers must use Asuna, not ignore it. Asuna saves you work and effort. Asuna allows your party to function. What the fuck? When the fuck do you ever use this fucking move? I mean, I guess you're doing tea, but it's not like they fucking do tea. Only using it on poison or burns is test, wait. What? Only using it on poison and burns is testimony to your foolishness? You can only use it on, what? The DPSer's rules of engagement. Your job is to kill things with efficiency and with ruthlessness. DPS always dodge damage. Eating damage or ignoring mechanics causes healer stress and party wipes. Most DPS jobs have utilities and auxiliary abilities. Know them, use them as appropriate. Don't be lazy. Know your DPS role type and its purpose on the battlefield. Each job has different nuances, requirements. Recognize them and use them to the fullest extent. Your party is your team. Take care of your team. Don't murder them. What? DPSers are not healers, but they should support as best they can when necessary. Don't play the job if you can't handle that. Limit break is not a toy. Use it correctly. Don't waste it on trash. What? That's where you want to use it is on the trash. The majority of content in game is not savage content like the louder population seems to think. Oh my God, hold on, fuck me, dude. I skipped the best one. A DPS who plays a tank is not a DPS. If you pull it, you will own it. <laughs> The three pillars are foundational concepts that prevent players from doing very nasty things. While there are likely some obvious exceptions, the core concepts and ideas are sound and will not change regardless. The force behind the words unanimously agreed upon and shared with all members of the Dreadworm Academy. We expect to play the game for fun and with progress, not recklessly and haphazardly because one person felt it was too trivial to care. We take pride in our work, not just have fun, as such, those who join or encounter Dread World Academy will be judged and measured by the above pillars in all things. If you're wondering why we didn't like something, odds are that is why. 14 was designed with obvious intent and mechanics. We do not ignore these concepts like others do. So that's the Dread World Academy. Anybody signing up? For a brief moment in time, when we were looking at these, at the individual members themselves, it was kind of wholesome. And it made me forget how fucking psychotic everything was. But I was a big fan of this part. 